Port of Antwerp aims for a climate-neutral future. Together with companies in the port, we are looking for solutions to avoid the use of fossil resources. For example, we reuse raw materials as the basis for new chemical processes and products. This we call circular chemistry. Most of the raw materials that we use today come from the soil, from petroleum, natural gas, and even from coal. Processing these releases CO2 into the atmosphere. By reusing raw materials, we avoid this. An application of circular chemistry is, for example, processing plastic waste into oil. From that oil, we make plastic pellets that can then be used in the medical sector, energy sector, or for packaging. Together with a few large chemical companies, we are developing infrastructure to capture and store CO2 on a large scale in empty gas fields in the North Sea. By 2030, we aim to have absorbed half of the 18 million tonnes of CO2 that our port emits annually. In the next step, we will reuse that CO2 on a large scale for the production of various products. In the port, we therefore reuse raw materials but we also focus on their exchange. Fresh water is an important raw material for the industry. Together with the University of Antwerp, we are creating a tool to map out at which companies in the port water can be reused or exchanged to combat scarcity during dry months. And the port continues to create extra space for sustainable industry. For example, Port of Antwerp is converting the former General Motors site into the next-gen district a hub for innovative companies in the circular economy. Every day, many people are pioneering together to make Port of Antwerp a circular and climate neutral port by 2050.